Hey guys, this is Kat Kerr, and if you're new to iron soldering, this video is for you. Now this is the way I normally set up my soldering station. I always have it on some sort of cookie tray or baking tray. This is super important because molten solder tends to roll, and so having that lip around the cookie sheet is awesome. It's also easy to carry around. So this is my um, setup, and I normally just leave everything on the tray until I'm ready to use the tray and then I just pull it out. Now what I have on my tray is a 100 watt soldering iron with a heavy duty stand and a moist sponge. Moist. It doesn't need to be sopping wet, just a little wet and then you just squeeze out the excess water. I also have some safety glasses, a solderite board which is not completely necessary. You could just use a ceramic tile. Also some gel flux and a disposable brush my sal block, lead-free solder, and some wood handle tweezers or tweezers, anything that's got like a cushion on it so you don't feel the heat. Now what you don't see is my uh, the brand of gel flux that I prefer. I also have an exhaust fan and a uh, fire extinguisher. It's also a great idea to have some burnt ointment on hand. And if you are soldering, make sure you're working in a well-ventilated area. So if you don't have an exhaust fan, make sure you're cracking open some windows. Also, make sure that there's nothing on your table. You don't want anything close to your soldering iron uh, and your station. So make sure that your table is nice and clean before you plug in. Now lastly, before you plug in, make sure that you have everything you need, all of your cleaned metal pieces and anything else that you're going to solder onto your metal. Now after you plug your iron in, you can test it by simply melting a piece of solder. If it melts, it's ready. If not, give it a few more minutes. Now this is the sal block. I probably use this more than anything else to clean the tip of my iron. Normally I get into the habit of working with the iron and then before I put it back into the holder, I clean it on the sal block. Now you can see this is pretty smoky, which is why it's so important to work in a well-ventilated space. Now soldering is simply the act of sticking two pieces of metal together and using lead-free solder as the glue. Now I do this by first adding flux to the metal and then either picking up a piece of solder or bringing the solder to the metal and melting it onto the metal plate. Now notice you hold the soldering iron in your dominant hand and the tweezers and or solder go in your less dominant hand. Now remember, flux is your friend. Soldering will not go smoothly if you first don't add a layer of flux. Now as solder cools, it becomes dull. When it's molten, it's super shiny. So keep in mind, if you ever need to reheat it, all you have to do is simply um, touch it with the iron again in order to remelt it. Now here are two pieces of metal that I'm going to stick together. And I prefer to first add some flux and solder to both pieces of metal and then stick them both together. So when I'm ready to do that and both of my pieces have solder on them, I hold one piece down with my tweezers and then I pick up a piece of solder and I let it and I let my iron sit for a couple of seconds in the spot that I want to melt. And I, once it's melted, it actually melts both pieces of solder on both pieces of metal together. Now, if I'm not happy with the placement, I simply heat it up again until it melts and then remove the piece and then reattach it again. Make sure that you're only reheating the area that's attached because solder melts and cools quickly, so you do have to work relatively fast. Now, once I'm happy with the placement, I can go ahead and pick up another piece of solder and then melt another area of the two pieces of metal. 
So first I did the top and now I'm doing the bottom and I melted those, those areas together. And you can see I'm using my tweezer to hold that metal down so that it doesn't move on me. And once it's cooled, I just take a look. And if I'm happy with it, I continue to add solder and melt it in areas and different areas. You don't want to reheat or heat the entire piece because it might come off. They might, you know, become unattached. So you have to do one section at a time. And once I'm happy with the placement, I'm just going to add additional layers of melted solder. Now I am being very careful to take my time because I do not want to um, unattach my two pieces. And so I'm just doing a little area at a time. Again, I'm just picking up some more solder and placing it there so that it gives it more bulk. The solder becomes a little bulkier and it looks nicer. And once I'm completely happy with the thickness of the solder, I add a little bit of flux and then just lightly tap my solder to smooth it out. Now, before I unplug my iron, I'm going to first tin the tip. And that simply means that I'm going to put some solder on the tip of that iron in order to preserve the life of the tip. So I added some solder and now I'm just putting it in that sal block. It has a layer of solder over it. It's going to protect it. And then I put it back in the holder and unplug it. Now this is my piece uh, while it's cooling and it's got all this black residue stuff on it, which is totally normal, but you just clean it with an old toothbrush. You scrub it with um, some dish soap and um, finish off with some ultra fine seal wool and it'll get nice and shiny. Now, one last piece of advice on tip care, make sure you look at your tip before you start working, because if your tip is not in working order, it's going to make you very frustrated. Now the left tip has some rust on it. The right tip is tinned with solder. Now, if your tip has uh, rust on it and it's also cracked, you can't use it. However, if it just has a little bit of rust on it, then you can actually use that brass brush and some ultra fine steel wool to clean the tip of your iron. It's not something that I do on a regular basis. It's more of like a last resort, but depending on the quality of your tip and you know, the state that it's in, this is an option for you um, so that you don't have to go get another iron, but it's not something that I would do regularly to the tip of the iron. Well, I hope that you enjoyed these tips and that they are helpful to you. Uh, keep in mind that I am a mixed media artist. Soldering is just one of the things that I do. And so I'm not an expert at it. However, I do like my work to be rustic and weathered and um, using these tips helps to facilitate that. And so keep that in mind that your pieces are not gonna come out perfect. They're not gonna come out like fine jewelry. However, that is what gives them the character and the charm in my opinion. So thanks for watching.